shouldn't, shouldn't be here. <laughs> we shouldn't be here talking about Kelly Rusiki's funeral. But we are here. So grateful for all the moments. We hold them really close and dear. Grateful for all the lessons, all the opportunities. Rest in peace. Cows, um, you bastard. That, that's, that's, that's you and me there, right there. It's not heaven. Eight bloody years, and you didn't even tell me that this is how we're going to say our goodbyes. Now, I just want to say, just pay homage, respect, and honor to you, bro, for all that you did for me. My name is Willis Watafi Afirika. Our friendship and our brotherhood and power and your amazing talent and gift of love, just sharing, just mentoring. Africa Revenge, when we started, you are the guys that gave us the stage a jazz invitation you'd actually allow us to use your instruments whatever we do our corporate functions was we didn't have instruments but just come into into the city into the capital thanks to you and the rest of the jazz invitation but you particularly i had a relationship with you when i was staying in australia and i just want to say thank you for the music the journey really does indeed continue god bless you may the angels dance with you because i know they are amazing bro you know, it was, it was a privilege knowing Kelly on, Kelly on, on a personal level. Uh, he was one of the most real person I, I've ever met, one of the nicest. But for me, it was just the humility. Um, you know, in spite of all his success and everything that he did, he was the most humble person and he just had such a big heart. So it's a big loss, not only to the family, um, to the Zimbabwe in the music industry. And um, we'll keep the journey going for him. Yeah. I don't know how to start this. Are you recording? Right? Um, yeah, like, I guess I was asked to say a few words about uh, Uncle Kelly or Kelly Sige. And I guess what I can say from my experience with him was he's all around nice guy. Always, I mean, we always, did we used to do rehearsals at, at the house? Yes, yes, yes. We used to do rehearsals at, at the house. We always used to be by the studio. I wanted to steal his speakers. He had good speakers. I wanted his mic. Um, he was just like, you know, someone to look up to because of all that he accomplished as well in his career. So, you know, hats off to him for a life well lived. Yes, no. Kels, <laughs> the legend. Um, always there to listen, always, whatever we were doing, he was following. Um, he'd always be there with the word of advice and he'd always be willing to try something. You just get a random phone call. Uh, I want to try something. Are you keen? That kind of thing. That was that was what girls was uh, the, the industry, the music industry really lost a bit. So sad that uh, we are here at uh, such a time as this when we are parting ways with uh, our brother Kenny. He was like uh, a role model, somebody we looked up to, somebody who inspired us. Um, I remember the first time when we. When I met him, uh, when we did our first ad, I think it was the Evershop ad, uh, it was like epic. I knew exactly the direction to start, you know, working towards. He was a great inspiration. Where to begin? Oh my God. We're here sending off Kelly to see Kayla. <laughs> oh my God, I don't even know where to begin. He was a father, a mentor, a friend teacher to me for years. Um, I'd say though he's the one that discovered me. He actually put me in the forefront as an artist, as a solo artist. And uh, you know, we had the best and the worst times together. <laughs> but um, I'm happy to say, yeah, like everybody's been saying, I learned the love, I learned the patience, I learned putting in the work for art to be the finest. And, um, Kelly, we're gonna keep it going. The journey is still going, just like you always say. <laughs> Jazz invitation to the world! Yeah. <laughs> what a loss to the industry in Zimbabwe. For me personally, what a loss as a bass player that I followed, that I learned so much from. What a gifted guy, what a gentleman. Also so humble. May we all take, you know, a lesson from him. Just say rest in peace. Rest in peace.
I'm really, I'm still in shock, really gutted. Kelly was, Kelly was a good friend. Um, not just on a personal note, but on the business side as well. You know, I'm a voiceover artist. So for me to know what, you know, what voiceovers are all about, for me to know, even just music, he, he, tried, <laughs> he tried to groom me a bit here and there. For me to know, it was Kelly. So I'm just, I'm sad, um, but I'm also really proud to have known him. I'm glad that he poured into the, my life and the lives of other people. So go well, Kelly. Yes. You know, great men don't die, they pass on. So Kelly will continue inspiring us in the next one. Sorry, sorry, I had not pressed the start. But Kelly, right. start now. For me, Kelly Rusike represented the epitome of uh, excellence in music, uh, a trendsetter, a barrier breaker, uh, you know, uh, an innovator of the music genre we know as jazz. And, um, you know, uh, Kelly was the jingles master. Uh, before there was any other person who did jingles, there were only two people who were known for jingles, Ross and Kelly. Then there was a third one, I'm forgetting his name, um, the guy who sang, who sang Gypsy Girl, that guy, yes. So it was the three of them who were known for making jingles. Uh, then when, those, when, when the guy with Gypsy Girl, that one, left, then Kells took over the market for jingles. Um, I remember fondly how me and him had a fight one time, 2003, I was recording my third, my second album. And uh, you know how Kells was? Kells had a gig come up and you had a recording session and go to the gig. So I remember just saying, Kells, don't touch me, why are you cancelling my gig? But it was all time at the bridge and we still remain great friends. We're going to miss you, Kells. We're going to miss your smile. We're going to miss your charisma. We're going to miss you, your charisma on the bass. We're going to miss your personality. But we know you're in a good place and you've rested well. Uh, bon voyage, my good friend. Uh, you have fought a good fight and you have done well. God bless.